Well, we're definitely feeling the heat. As Paul mentioned, we're experiencing some of the warmest temperatures we've seen so far this summer, but too much can be dangerous. 27 First News reporter Brittany Bissell found out how you can protect yourself. She's live tonight with that story. Well, Mandy, we all want to be outside enjoying the nice weather during these summer months, but it can be dangerous. As you said, more than 650 people die from extreme heat every year. Now today I sat down with a medical expert to find out how we can stay safe. The sun shining bright over the valley today. The heat and humidity even too much for park goers. I stopped by Mill Creek Park to find it empty. If you are spending time outside and start to experience any cramping, fatigue, nausea, or dizziness, you'll want to take action. Remove yourself from the heat, uh, shade, remove the clothing. You want to try and cool yourself, uh, drink plenty of fluids. Noga says if you're someone who works outside, wear light colored clothing and keep yourself hydrated. If they're paving or digging or whatever, they, they should get in the shade. If there's an area of shade, to take frequent breaks, uh, stay out of the sun as much as possible. 38 children die from heat related deaths trapped inside vehicles every year. According to Kids in Cars, 17 children died so far this year. They're going to exhibit more symptoms to the heat quicker than adults are because of their body surface area. So definitely do not leave your kids in a car with the windows down. It, this, it's a tragedy that happens every year. We hear about it all the time. So that's definitely a no-no. They should not do that. And uh, check in on, your, on relatives to make sure they have adequate uh, either air conditioning or, or uh, some way to, to cool themselves. Noga also advises people not to leave their pets out in extreme heat and also make sure your pets do have water. Live in Boardman, Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.